That reminds me that when we think of gratitude for the life that God gives each of us, what comes to mind is the story of the ten lepers. And it's the Samaritan, the stranger, the one who was destined for a double death, really, is the one that comes back to Jesus and falls at his feet to offer him thanks and praise. And from that time on, that is true worship, a life of gratitude. Now, the hymn that we like to sing in our church is uh, one that has a melody, I think, which is uh, universal and fairly common among the Protestant groups. But everything is anonymous. The person who wrote the words and who also even translated them into the Latvian language. It's called Auksha Eisweig's name, or Up Beyond the Stars. Auksha Eisweig's name, to Gaheis Mareis Kjusi, Ua Shetan Zereis Das Nirstur. Slavats lai ir Dievs, mūsu kunga, Jēzus Kristus tēvs, ka savā lielajā žēlistībā mūs ir atzemdinājis dzīvai cerībai ar Jēzus Kristus augšām celšanos no miroņiem. Āmen. Amen. Let us pray. Tu žēlistības un godības Dievs šodien mēs tavā priekšā pieminam Maigu. Maigu Stentin, mēs tev pateicamies, ka tu viņu šajā dzīvē mums devi iepazīt un iemīlēt. Mierini sērās, stiprini ticībā, ka tāpat kā Jēzus ir nomiris un augšām celies, tu arī mūs vedīsi godībā kopā ar Kristu. Amen. Amen. And one of my favorite readings at every funeral is Romans 8, in which we have that promise of the gospel resounding and exploding in our ears of how there is absolutely nothing, nothing whatsoever in heights nor depths nor principalities. No other created thing can separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. And so, bearing in mind these words and remembering them in our hearts, I will read this section in Latvian. Ko nu sacīsim par visu to? Ja Dievs par mums, kas būs pret mums, viņš jau savu paša dēlu nav saudzējis, bet to par mums visiem nodevis nāvē. 
kā tad viņš līdz ar to mums nedāvinās visas lietas? Un kas vēl apsūdzēs Dieva izredzētos? Vai Dievs, kas mūs taisno? Kas mūs pazudinās? Vai Kristus Jēzus, kas ir nomiris, vēl vairāk, kas ir augšām celies un ir pie Dieva labās rokas, kas arī mūs aizstāv? Kas mūs šķirs no Kristus mīlestības? Vai ciešanas, izbailes, vajāšanas, pats, plikums, briesmas vai zobens? Un gluži kā ir rakstīts, tevis dēļ mēs ciešam nāvi augu dienu. Mēs tiekam turēti līdzīgi kaujumām avīm. Nē, visās šīs lietās mēs pār pārim paliekam uzvarētāji, tā spēkā, kas mūs ir mīlējis. Tāpēc es esmu pārliecināts, ka ne nāve, ne dzīvība, ne eņģeļi, ne varas, ne lietas esošās, ne nākamās, ne spēki, ne augstumi, ne dziļumi, ne cita kāda radīta lieta mūs nevarēs šķirt no Dieva mīlestības, kas atklājusies Kristu Jēzu mūsu kungā. Word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Now, keeping these words in mind, as we know that there is nothing that can separate us from the love of God, why don't we spend this time sharing at least some words of our own? That if you feel that your heart needs to speak, then let it speak now. This country? This yes. Country. She loved coming to a free country. And then a whole lot to her. And she was so grateful for being here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I certainly have things to say, but I want to let anyone that might. No one needs to feel like. No obligation. Yeah, forced to with a heavy heart or anything, just if there was anything you'd want to say and share. That Arnie uh, Freras, we didn't know your mother only through you. We hope this little service will lighten your heart forever. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Yeah. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you for being here. Yes, thank you. Paul Dias. Paul Dias. <laughs> La in Latvian, thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, better, better. Did it, did it. I just see you. I know we have the Estonian Lutheran congregation that uh, rents our Latvian Lutheran church in Los Angeles. Okay. <laughs> and we see them there. The, uh, your compatriots once a month with us. Yeah. That's an interesting little homecoming here. Yeah. Well, um, shall I go ahead and say something, I suppose? Um, um, I mean, the obvious thing is my mother brought me into this world, but even before that, uh, she has her own story, being an uh, immigrant, basically running just ahead of the Soviets before they overthrew her country, my family's country, both my mother and father's country. and. Um, um, her story is similar to many, but uh, it's, it's, it's terrible. She's a survivor of what she went through, DP camps, that's deportation camps, for the, at least that's what I believe it stands for, and in Germany, and, uh, and somehow there she got her nursing training, but even when she came here, she had to wash, scrub floors and everything like a, a maid, and, you know, and they didn't recognize her training, and, and she somehow, at the bottom, made it where she was, and I'm very proud of her, and... Uh, and I know she's a, always was a strong person. I hope that I have some of that strength that she had. And um, um, I know in many ways she had a very good heart. She, I think, had many kind intentions for the family, for me. And I have so many good memories of her many times and, and seen her and, at her happiest moments many times. And, uh, and I know God blessed her so much in this life and the things she had and, you know, uh, living in nice neighborhoods and everything. I mean, it's, it's wonderful and uh, wonderful husband she had at the end and my father before that. 
and uh, and when I was uh, 14 years after I was born, physically I was born again. I became a Christian thanks to my older sister, and I and my mom about two years later told me I led her to Christ, and I was going to bring the Bible. I brought the one that I had with me when I was a Christian at that time. It's in the car. I I won't go get it, but. Uh, um, she credits me, and so in a way, I feel a special connection to my mother. Not only did I, she get brought me into life, but I, I believe I helped her with her being born again, which is an exciting relationship, I think, and an honor to be able to be part of that. And I do look forward one day seeing her and um, being fully reconciled to her, as some of you know. It was a bumpy ride toward the end, but uh, maybe that's a Latvian way, I don't know, but at least in my family it was. I don't want to speak for, <laughs> i got to be careful. But um, we're here to honor my mother, and um, she was in many ways a good person, a strong person, one of the friendliest people you could ever have met, and people just loved her, and I do believe she loved me in many ways and, and, and showed in her own way. And I thank God for this. And um, like I said before, I look forward one day seeing her. I know she's in peace now, and, and by now I'm sure she's talked to her, her parents, who are in heaven, I believe, other family members, and I know uh, she, she's at peace. We're the ones down here that are not necessarily at full peace, but this is part of the life. We, Jesus promised, we, you shall have tribulation down here. And I, I don't want to steal any thunder here from the pastor, but I tend to be a preachy guy. Everybody knows me. <laughs> but uh, Double the voice. Yes, but once again, I'm here to honor my mother and father. Just because they're passed on, I believe it's still my responsibility to honor them in memory, whatever. And, and this is my uh, short way to continue this, even though she has moved on to the next life. Thank you. There is one word that still comes to mind and that has to do a lot more than each of us separately is the word covenant. And we are a people of the covenant. And that implies a history, whether a history together as a nation, as the, the Hebrew nation having been formed and identified in Egypt and led out of there by God's mighty acts. And so parallel is that story with our own Latvian and Estonian. Naturally, uh, in, in a very modern history sense, I, the recipient of a lot of the tales that my own parents and grandparents were able to tell about their own fleeing in the, well, the DP camps was displaced persons. Camps. I'm sorry, I, I thought I had that wrong, but. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the deportation camps were eastward, uh, the displaced person camps yes, that's were westward, true. which was uh, no great treat either. Uh, start, people were scrounging for a bit to eat, whatever they could find. It was. And then that sense that how difficult it was to make the way across the stormy sea to these shores made people bitter and made people also firmer in their faith. It went both ways. Which leads us to really question, well, what does a living faith look like? We don't always know on the outside, on the surface. It's really hard to tell what naturally goes on inside a person who's been through so much. And that's why I think the important part of covenant is really in here, God's promise to us. Not necessarily the weak promises that we make to God, but God's eternal promise to us in life and through death, in death and in the resurrection. There is peace at the end. That is God's signature upon all creation. Amen. Shall we pray? Dear Lord, with your presence today here at Rose Hills, at the graveside of my Gestanton, 
and the family plot. Bring us your peace and raise our spirits in that holy and certain hope through the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, that we here who are bereaved and feel torn inside of having to be separated from our loved ones, we may know the consolation of your love. Yes, console us who mourn. And give us that sense of hope for tomorrow that we find you there as well. That you open our eyes and our ears so that we may receive your grace in full measure. To keep us growing in our individual faith so that we collectively can be here and elsewhere a family, solid and strong, remembering that we are members of your family. Dios de besitavs, sveti maigas iziešanu un iziešanu no šā laika mūžīgi. Un tiešām tavs mieres, kas ir augstāks par cilvēku prātu un sapišanu, pasargā mūsu sirdis un domas, Kristu Jēzu uz mūžīgu dzīvošanu. Let us pray how Jesus has taught us to pray when we say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power, power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Dievs tas kungs, lai tevi sveti un lai tevi pasargā, Dievs tas kungs, lai apgaismo savu vaigu pār tevi un ir tevi žēlīgs, un Dievs tas kungs, lai paceļ savu svēto vaigu uz tevi un lai tevi dod savu mieru. Amen. Let us go in peace and serve the Lord. <laughs>